Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be always with you. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, good morning. Each and every one of you, you're welcome to our celebration of the Eucharist in the middle of Lent and putting on white color vestments primarily to indicate that we celebrate a very big feast today, St. Joseph, the husband of Mary, the foster father of Jesus Christ, our Lord. And so gathered here, trusting in his mercy, the intention for this Mass is for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and for the entire Church, particularly on this very old experience of the whole world being shut down by a single virus, that God in his power and his loving mercy will abide with humanity to go through all this safe. And for all those who have died, that God will grant them rest eternal. May I invite us now to confess our sins and so prepare ourselves to enter fully in the mysteries of the Eucharist. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray.
Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by St. Joseph's intercession, your church may constantly watch over the unfolding of the mysteries of human salvation, whose beginnings you entrusted to his faithful care. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Samuel. The word of the Lord came to Nathan. Go and tell my servant David. Thus the Lord speaks. When your days are ended and you are led to rest with your ancestors, I will preserve the offspring of your body after you and make his sovereignty secure. It is he who shall build a house for my name, and I will make his royal throne secure forever. I will be a father to him, and he a son to me. Your house and your sovereignty will always stand secure before me, and your throne be established forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is the story of the Son. His dynasty shall last forever. His dynasty shall last forever. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. Through all ages, my mouth will proclaim your truth. Of this I am sure that your love lasts forever, that your truth is firmly established as the heavens. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David, my servant. I will establish your dynasty forever and set up your throne through all ages. You will say to me, You are my mother, my God, the rock who saves me. I will keep my love for him always, for him. My covenant shall endure. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. 
They are happy to dwell in your house, O Lord, forever singing your praise. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel of God. Jacob was the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, of Abraham's brother, Jesus, who is called Christ. This is how Jesus Christ came into the dawn. His mother Mary was the child of Joseph, but before he came to live together, she was found to be a child, to be a child of the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph being a man of God and wanted to spare her publicity, decided to divorce her in front of him. He had made up his mind to do this when the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take every home as your wife, because she has conceived what is in her. By the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you must name him Jesus, because he is the one who is to save his people from their sins. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had told him to do. It is all about tracing 
is not outside the form to trace the origin. So you are father of Saul. Jacob was the father of David. And it was from this David that, I mean, David was, uh, was the father of Joseph. And Joseph was the father of David. And from that, that Jesus was born. Just to assure us that what the story will tell, the life we embrace, the faith that we live out, don't come from the dead, they came from a source. And that source is the same person who still exists now, called the person Trinity, or Jesus. And I said at the beginning of this lecture that it is very fitting because uh, what we pass through now demands even extra amount of faith compared to what the early Christian communities would have experienced. That it is this moment that we really say to ourselves totally and wholly, surrendering ourselves to God. If you can do this for God, for Abraham, for Jacob, for Joseph, we know we can do it even more to God's time. Because time, Jesus is in the creation. That's the reason why none of us, none of you, should in any way lose heart. What is going to happen? Yes, have the knowledge, have the acceptance of what is around us. But equally, have the faith to know that God in us and God with us surpasses all other things. The mystery of Jesus coming to bed with Joseph is one obvious testimony that God never forgets us all. Joseph, by no means, was qualified to be the first. The creed, may we stand now to profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ.
For I have said he was crucified and the cross was tired. He saw the death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And now we we'll listen to God's words, inspired by His faithfulness. We present to Him the needs that troubles our hearts and the needs that troubles the world, that His loving kindness and strength will grant help. Joseph watched over the Son of God. We pray for all priests and ministers who serve in the body of Christ and who feed God's people with his body and blood. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Joseph was upright and honourable. We pray for all in the office that they may guide our people unselfishly and with wisdom. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Joseph cared for the family of Nazareth. We pray for all heads of families and for single parents, that they may have joy in their children. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Joseph was a simple carpenter. We pray for all workers, that they may have fulfillment in their jobs. We pray for those who cannot work or are unemployed, that they may find strength, courage, and personal dignity. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Joseph walked in faith. We pray for ourselves that we may know the guidance of God in all our affairs. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Our mass intention today is for Pope Francis and the Church. We pray for recently dead John Shepherd and Julius Father. We pray for those in our memorial walk, Bridie Warren and Sister Mary Ross. Eternal rest, Francis Bell of the Lord, and let the perpetual light shine upon them. May they be rest in peace. We pray for those who are in hospital at this time. Pat Padgington, Pam Farrell, Vincent Shepherd, and Billy Lord. We pray too for all the sick and housebound of our parish. The priest we pray for today is Father Pius Matthew. We pray for our own private intentions. Eternal wisdom, loving Father, you teach us truth in the simple home of Nazareth. May our minds be always open to your way and our hearts ready to follow Jesus, your Son, our Lord and Redeemer. To the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For to your goodness, we have received this bread to offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become a bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of our creation. For to your goodness, we have received this wine to offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become a spiritual ring. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father, the Almighty. We pray, O Lord, that just as Saint Joseph served with love and care, you only begotten Son, born of the Virgin Mary so we may be worthy to minister with a pure heart at your altar through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and on the solemnity of St. Joseph to give you fitting praise to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you as pious to the, as pious to the Virgin Mother of God and set as a, way, a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household to watch like a father over your only begotten son, who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions, adore, and powers tremble before you, heaven and the virtues of heaven, and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have prayed rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, Graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, and gave the chalice of his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it, for this 
is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your personal resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body and one spirit in Christ. May it make us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for our failing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance in peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pagan church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, Peter, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom there. We hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. To all him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever. the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, to say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And let's offer to each other the sign of God's peace. Lamb of God,
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am the God, the worship and the Lord. For all the souls shall be healed. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, O praise, O praise, every moment of time, O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, O praise, O praise, every moment of time, O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, O praise, O praise. 
let us pray. Defend with our failing protection, O Lord, we pray. The family you have nourished with food from this altar. As they rejoice at the solemnity of St. Joseph, and graciously keep safe your gifts among them. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, for coming out to grace this celebration. Um, as you know, tomorrow will be the last Mass that we'll have until we don't know when. And because of that, um, we shall be having not Mass at 12 o'clock. At 12 o'clock tomorrow, we we'll have the exposition and of the Blessed Sacrament for adoration. It will last till five o'clock in the evening when we have mass. So we'll conclude with mass at five o'clock. However, between 12 o'clock to five in the evening, we'll have the stations at two o'clock. Stations of the cross at two o'clock with the blessed sacrament still exposed. And then at um, four o'clock, we have a general absolution. You know, during the, the period of uh, Lent, we normally arrange for penitential services, for confessions and all, but since we might not have that opportunity, we just have a general absolution at four o'clock. We have a, a short period of personal reflection, as you know, repent and things like that, and then after that, we'll give a general absolution. Hopefully, at the end of um, Corona virus, we'll have a time to arrange for penetration service. And then five o'clock, we conclude with mass. So I'm asking you now to please tell it to one another, as many people as you can give this message. Tomorrow, let as many as possible come and let's conclude, I mean, let's have that mass it will be a mass of um, end of the season, in quote, and also a mass of the beginning of a season, a season that will have to be alone uh, on our own, but not without God. Um, so that's what I want to appeal to all of you. And as time goes on, I will hopefully create other means and ways that will get in touch with, with you and with one another. Uh, tomorrow we'll hear more announcements on how we are uh, developing those means. Today we want to thank Michael for helping us. We are working on the possibility of other recording mass, especially on Sundays, um, Sunday masses, so that we, you, can, you can have it, you can you know, be part of what is happening here. Or streaming it live. And if we stream it live, it means that as the Mass is going on here, uh, you will also be experiencing the whatever in your own homes. And those who are um, high tech knowledgeable, they will help others to use um, a smartphones, uh, computers, and all that to follow if it is live. Okay? I think that is the much I have now. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all and keep you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go and be disciples of hope. Have a bright, sunny day in your life.